Well, Zolgia 108 is back. Here is TOD.WAD, whatever that is. He's thinking about a new project. This, of course, the maker of Jin. Um, I think I've played his stuff on Ultraviolence, so let's stick with that. It's just one map. Looks a lot like Jin. Kind of a nice vibe, aesthetic going on here. Oh, to be reborn, okay. Oh, it's got 182 kills. Two secrets, 11 items. I like the start, it makes you kind of figure that you're in this gin-ish atmosphere, it's kind of creepy, black and gray. Okay. Revenue somewhere. Oh, that's a lot of imps. Oh, there's a berserk for me. Great. Hmm. That's kind of a fun start. You come down this elevator and um, you can't go back up, so uh, this elevator might actually be better a little bit wider, maybe all the way to here, so that uh, you're less safe. Because you kind of you kind of have a little bit of cover here on the sides as you come down, you just kind of chain gun your way to safety. But I like the room, dark. Some creepy, hellish scrolling textures, some flashing lights and things, some imps up here. Okay. Might as well save. His maps can uh, beat me up in a hurry, so. To be reborn. Okay. You're gonna see. Oh, there he is. Right. Okay, there's humans there. Yeah, fairly tricky setup here. I like that. Alright. So a little bit of a hint at the progression. That was one of the themes of the early Jin maps, is that Zolgia was still kind of working on conventional progression. Not that progression has to be conventional, but it does have to make some sense. And here this looks like it's gonna make sense. Eventually we're gonna come back to the red door, but first we're gonna go in here and get the yellow key, and probably go in here and get the red key, so we kind of see what's gonna happen here. Uh -oh. You know what? The ammo's kind of low. We're gonna grab this Berserk. I also needed 43 health, so... Uh-oh. Oh, that's where he came out of. Okay. Yeah, it's this is very Jin. I don't know if he's thinking about doing like a sequel to Jin or what, but this is very similar. I think he's got a lot of the same textures. Um, the only thing he didn't put in was was uh, the custom monsters that he had. So we'll carry on here. Okay. <laughs> Here's a door that maybe could stay open.
fast one. Ah, he got me. Alright, let's try again. There we go. Really care how much damage I took there because I was going to get the Berserk just like I did last time. Try to replay it kind of the same way. Actually, I don't think I punched any of them. Okay, grab that, and we'll try this again. It's on Switch, so I can't open it myself. I actually like the combat in that room, because you gotta deal with monsters above and some monsters down below, although they kind of crowd at the door. But there's a nice mix. You got hit scanners um, down here, and up there you got revenants and imps, and you kind of have to decide how you're going to use your weaponry, because revenants are hard to hit on the move with rockets. But you've got these nice clusters of imps, and it's always fun to blast them with rockets, so kind of cool there. But yeah, this whole the whole setup it definitely reminds me of Jin levels, so. Oh, there's a super shotgun. There's a... yeah, okay. So I'll come back out of here with the yellow key. not expecting that. That was pretty clever to put a, a pain elemental right between two fatties because it's like, I guess I gotta go up and around. Because it's like, well, you want to get rid of the pain elemental first, but it's going to be kind of dangerous to do that. With the manx all up in your face. Oh, now I got cacodemons too. Yeah, so we're back to the yellow. We had some monsters repopulating the areas, so that's always good. Oh, cool. Real simple. dead by now. 
Okay. Hit a little too much here. Uh oh. Goodness. Nice use of specters. It's just dark enough that you can still see, but specters are gonna be tough. through that, didn't I? Wait, where was it? Huh. Not a secret? Let me get myself killed. There they are. Switch down there. You shoot it. Okay. Oh, I thought, oh, that's not tall enough. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's no. Oh, it was tall enough at one point. But then it loses. Oh, that lowers and gives you the red key, okay. Yeah. This is all off the map. There we go. Alright, so now I can go to the red. Save again, because there might be some repopulation. Nope. Alright, just a little backtrack here. Alright, so there's a revenant somewhere. But, huh. Well, alright, let's... Yeah, let's just go. Ow. This is not gonna be good. That might help. Oh. Think there are any berserks left? <gasps> Look at that! It's just what I need. Hate to waste it like that, but when you're at one. Not much you can do. This is kind of interesting. Oh, there's more of them. Okay. Wow, it's really hitting the fan out here, isn't it? Rockets. A little staircase. There's a lot going on here. I like it. Oh, that's damaging. Okay. Fast damage. So it looks like there's nothing left to do except go up these staircases, I guess. Switches. Oh, more monsters. Oh my. A lot more monsters. 
go around this way. Uh oh. Not while you're stuck in there. Thought that one was gone. Ow. There's a decent amount of challenge in this map. It's not as hard as I'm making it by being really bad. But uh, yeah, it's a decent challenge. Alright, so we gotta go up these and hit the switches and activate the more monsters, huh? Okay, so probably one switch opens the bars. Maybe not. That's the one I already hit. But there's this whole thing on the other side, isn't there? Maybe that opens the other bars. And this probably opens another package of monsters. Yeah, there they are. But I got plenty of rockets now. Uh-oh, I heard that. I don't like hearing that. Good job, Imp. Well done. All right. So I'm basically done now. Um, did I hit all the switches? I'm not sure if I did. There we go. Oh gosh. That was the last enemy. Of course, it's an arch file. Alright, this is probably the exit anyway, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I think so. But hey, I got all the kills now. Alright. So yeah, I mean, that, that's a perfectly legitimate map. Um, I wish a little bit more of Jin could have been like that. See, I would have liked Jin better without all the custom monsters, I think. And that's just me personally. A lot of people do like to see some, some custom touches. I'm, I'm not necessarily a fan of that, or it doesn't really do much for me. Um, but yeah, this, I mean, this had all the weirdness and the visual aspects of Jin, but it had a, a conventional enough approach to it and uh, layout, and then it didn't have any fancy monsters, so I actually like this map a lot. Um, so yeah, I don't know if Zolgia wants to do another project, but uh, I'd certainly encourage it. Uh, now, what you get in Zolgia's maps are, you don't get a ton of visual detail. Um, you get enough, and you get a, a vibe. That's what you really get, is you get a, a, this crazy um, creep atmosphere. And I think he's really come a long way in monster placement and enemy encounters in general. You know, most of that was pretty good. Um, fairly well thought out stuff in there, so... Yeah, not too bad. To be reborn by Zolgia 108.